I, male 63, have a daughter, Sarah, 33, from my first marriage and two daughters, young teen and pre-tween, from my current marriage. My ex and I divorced when Sarah was one year old, my ex had full custody, and I had every other weekend. My daughter lived with me for one year when she was 16. We were previously close, but that changed after I had my younger daughters. Usually we talk a couple of times a year, each of our birthdays and Christmas. She doesn't call or text for my younger daughter's birthdays and has never shown interest in them. On my birthday last August, she called and told me she was pregnant. I said okay and told her to let me know when she had her scan to reveal the gender. She never did. I called her in December with no answer and she didn't return my call. In March, I called her mother to find out if my daughter was okay and to ask if she had the baby. Her mother said she did. I was hurt that she hadn't told me. Her birthday was two weeks ago. I sent her a text, congratulations. She called the next day, but I didn't answer. A week later, I received an invitation in the mail for her wedding and the christening of the baby. My young teen daughter is very much into gymnastics and does a lot of competitions, and it's important to her that her parents attend. Also, I need to drive her across the country as my wife doesn't have a license. She has one that coincides with Sarah's wedding, so I texted her that we, my wife and I, kids, were not invited, couldn't come, and why. She hasn't answered me, so I think she's mad. So, am I the idiot for not going to the wedding? You are the idiot. Did you say okay when she told you she was pregnant? With your first grandchild? And you wonder why she didn't call you back? Did you say, I'm not coming to your wedding because of my other kids' high school sports competition? Just admit you don't want anything to do with your adult daughter. Be honest with her and let her know to go ahead and cut you out of her life. You absolutely pushed her aside after you had your redo kids. Yeah, he really succeeded in replacing his family. He'll never hear from her again. Also, he says things changed after the younger daughters were born. I think this is where he left some stuff out, notably the age of the current wife. She's probably a similar age to the eldest daughter, maybe a few years older at the most. That might explain a few things. Well, he did text her on her birthday, father of the year material. And don't forget, let me know when you have the scan to tell me the gender. Not congratulations, is there anything I can do or do you need anything? Not, that's great honey, keep me updated with the pregnancy. Nope, all he cared about was the gender of the child. He didn't even ask if the daughter was okay or about the father. You are the idiot, OP, but I can guarantee you that she's not the slightest bit surprised. You completely failed her a long time ago. Why in the world are you just now questioning a parenting decision involving her? I had a dad like you. I'm 31 years old and still cry like a baby the second I allow myself to feel even the slightest bit of that pain. I guarantee you she's holding a lifetime of pain over you. Do you ever think about that? Nah, he doesn't care. This dude has a grandchild and didn't even make an effort to visit him. He just called and got offended that the new mom didn't call herself, and then sent a text saying he isn't going to her wedding. OP, a wedding is a once-in-a-lifetime event, whereas your younger daughter has and will have other competitions. The fact that you justified this decision by trying to shift blame to your daughter shows that she's right to be hesitant about having a close relationship with you. My brother Derek is 27 and has been married to his wife Sophie, 26, for two years and they have two kids, a male toddler and an infant. They never really had much money and recently they had to move back in with my parents. I also live with my parents and just finished my first year at community college. I'm a 19-year-old female. When my siblings moved out, my parents gave me the master bedroom, but when Derek and Sophie moved in, I moved to a smaller room and they got the master bedroom. None of that bothered me because they're having a hard time, but Sophie gave me a schedule and said this is children's daily routine. I asked what she meant and she said it was for when she was at work. I told Sophie that I was not going to watch her kids and I never said I was. My mom told me that she meant to talk to me about it and basically because the class is over and my parents work full time, I should watch their kids. If Derek or Sophie asked me, I would have said no because I work part time in the evening and I'm really stressed but they could have at least asked instead of just assuming I would. Yesterday, Sophie thanked me for watching her kids and left before I could say anything, so I called my best friend and told her that my brother would pay her when he got home. I spent the entire day with my boyfriend. I got a call from my brother yelling at me, saying that I put his kids in danger. My friend is getting an early childhood education degree and babysits regularly, and she's great with kids. 
When I got home, Derek and Sophie yelled at me, saying that they couldn't afford a babysitter and that I was selfish. I knew that if I just watched the kids, they would do that all summer. My dad agrees with me, but my mom says I could have just watched them. I want everyone to know that my friend was paid. I would never ever let her go unpaid, but my brother didn't have the extra money to spend. My friend also knew a little before I left the kids with her, but she knows everything now. My mother is big into gender roles and hates my dad and me for going away from that after my sister's mental breakdown. My brother made a bunch of investments and is in a lot of debt, so they barely have money. I told Sophie she could put them in daycare, but she didn't want to because it would corrupt them. Not the idiot. Go get the list of kids' routines and put the cost of each on it, then give it back to them. Since you guys assume I work for you, here are my rates. And remember, this will only work if you get paid up front. Otherwise, you'll never see a dime. You're absolutely right. They're trying to push you into unwilling free childcare duty all summer for kids who aren't yours. I wouldn't agree. I'd let them know that you will be out of the house all day every day, so they better come up with a paid babysitter to watch their kids or put them in actual childcare. And then make good on your promise and go to the library or a coffee shop every day for at least a week or two until they find someone to watch their kids. Not your responsibility. Also, it seems like the guy wasted all his money on investments, gambling with stock, etc., and now has to bite the bullet. Not OP's problem either. They're already getting help by living with the parents. You're an adult and deserve the respect of your family as one. Your mom made the agreement on your behalf without talking to you, which makes it frustrating for you and for your brother and his wife. Your mom should have told Sophie and Derek that she would ask you and have you contact them about whether you can do it. Your mom is the idiot. Just because you're female and off from school does not make you their servant for the summer. They clearly will not pay you. Your brother and his wife can look for financial daycare help from the government. There are programs out there for situations like these. Maybe they should even do food stamps to help with groceries. Stand your ground and be firm and get a daytime job. Save up, move out. It won't get better. My female 29 stepdaughter, teen, came out to me about two months ago. She told me I was the first to know and didn't want her parents to know yet. I respected that and kept quiet. Last week, she sat her father down and came out to him. He asked if her mom knew and she replied that she told him on the weekend before and me two months ago. When she said that, he looked at me but didn't say anything. When we went to bed, he immediately said like, I can't believe you didn't tell me. So I asked him what he was talking about. He said, I can't believe you didn't tell me about my daughter earlier. I told him that it wasn't my place to tell him about it and that his daughter deserved to come out on her terms. He said that that didn't matter. He was her father and needed to know those things. I told him that I just respected his daughter's wishes and that I'd do it again. After I said that, he turned around and stopped talking to me. The morning after, he took off for work without addressing me. He's still not talking to me as much and the few times he does, he's cold. I thought I did the right thing, but now I don't know. Maybe my husband's right and I should have told him. Not the idiot. Your husband is not right. There are good reasons why your stepdaughter didn't choose to come out to him until she'd secured the support of yourself and her mother. Your husband will come around or die mad, leaving him to sulk until he grows up. You did the right thing. OP doesn't mention her husband's age. She's only 14 years older than her stepdaughter. I'm guessing her husband thought he was getting a younger, more pliable model. Hubby is angry and put out that his shiny new toy has a spine and stands up to him. Also, holy crap, you never out a person. She was 100% correct to keep that info to herself. OP, you sit your husband down and make it clear that outing someone is never okay and you're angry that he doesn't respect that. Tell him the silent treatment is unacceptable and to act like a damn grown-up. You did the right thing. Your husband is the idiot for giving you the silent treatment. He's doing that because he wants you to beg him for forgiveness. Don't. You did nothing wrong. Swimming is my female 31 hobby and how I keep healthy. My favorite swimming pool is the local university pool. As a graduate, I have access, but they also have community hours when people from the town can pay and swim. It doesn't do lane swimming, but typically everyone knows to avoid those doing laps. I was doing laps at the far end with the pool wall on my side, so I couldn't move if I wanted to. I was mid-session when two women my age jumped right in front of me and stood by the wall on the shallow end. I couldn't stop in time and push the wall between them, forcing them to move aside. 
I was being more careful next lap, but they just kept standing there. There was plenty of space on the other side of the pool where they could stand and chat without bothering anyone, but they chose to stand right in front of me. So I continued swimming, pushing from the wall. If they refused to move, I just turned in the water, making a big splash. I took a break to drink some water, and one of them started screaming at me about how I got her hair all wet. Told her it was her fault and continued swimming. She waited for me in the changing rooms and went on about how I was inconsiderate and ruined her hair. I told her to screw off. She started going off at me and started screaming, calling me an idiot and a witch. I grabbed my stuff and went to one of the cubicles to have a shower and change. When I was leaving, they were talking to the manager and one of them was crying about her hair. I told my sister and she thought I was an idiot, but I didn't think so before. Now, with my sister agreeing, I worry that I might have been. Am I the idiot? Edit, just to add, I was the only person there when they came in. They had the whole pool to stand in. They chose to purposefully stand in front of me without swimming at all. Not the idiot at all. You're in a pool and complaining about getting your hair wet. If you ever see them again, I'd practice your cannonball entry form into the pool. Imagine being upset because your hair got wet in a swimming pool. If she didn't want wet hair, she should wear a swimming cap or find a different form of exercise, chatting place. You already were there. Those two had all the pool space but chose to stand there and get mad at you for something they could have avoided in multiple ways. Everyone's the idiot here. You missed the using your words to ask step before you decided to passive aggressively splash them. They were being inconsiderate idiots but you escalated beyond what was necessary. If stopping for two minutes to politely ask them to move somewhere else would have made you lose your focus, then you shouldn't be doing your workout during community hours. Or you could have just started swimming away from them if the pool was empty except for you three. So it seems the only reason you didn't move was because they also could move and they didn't. That seems like a childish reason. It doesn't do lane swimming, but typically everyone knows to avoid those doing laps. To what degree is this an unspoken courtesy that regulars simply concede to versus what, if any, posted regulations are there on the wall of the pool? I've never been to a pool with public access that didn't have the rules on the wall. You are the idiot. I'm also a swimmer, but unless a pool has dedicated lap swimming, you aren't entitled to an entire pool length. I, 30 female sister, 27, is recovering. She got into sugar in high school 10 years ago and spiralled from there. By senior year, she was also skipping school more often than not. Finally, she got expelled on her 18th birthday. I guess that makes it much easier and she basically disappeared. She'd only come by to ask for money and when our parents refused, she cussed them out until they threatened to call the police. Eventually, she started stealing from them and me. She'd come by home to have dinner and take stuff out of my room. When I moved out, she'd wait till all my roommates were gone and steal our cash. She even tried to pawn my car while it was parked in my driveway. I wrote her off by the time she was 20, and two years later she finally got busted. She ended up getting three years and got released two years ago. She's clean, and our parents have rebuilt their relationship. But I haven't. That's because she still owes me $2,200 as of last week. She's paid off half of what she stole from me in money and belongings over the years. My only interaction with her is when she drops off the cash every week and I don't speak to her. She's usually only able to give me $20 each week. She's not exactly rich, as you'd expect. Lately, though, it's been a little heavier. Last week, my mother called and told me she's been skipping meals to give me extra cash. She wants me to stop and make up. I'm not considering that until we're square and even then it's just a consideration. I may well decide I don't want anything to do with her after, but either way, I want my money but my mother says that's manipulative. So, am I the idiot for making my sister pay back all the money she stole from me years ago? Not the idiot. She's doing what she has to to make amends. If that means paying you off in full, then it's best if she does it. It's not your mother's business. It's between you and your sister. I'm glad she's clean and working towards healing your relationship. Yes, but the mother is right about one thing. Someone is being manipulative, but it's not OP. It's mom. She has nothing to do with what the siblings have going on. I honestly think for Sis to fully prove herself and make amends, she needs to be made accountable for what she's done. If it means repayment, she needs to do it. Mom is still enabling. Unpopular opinion, but you are the idiot. 
OP, you want her to have this constant reminder every time she sees you that she messed up, while dangling a carrot of maybe forgiveness if she grovels enough in the right way for long enough, and that's an idiot move at the end of the day. Making her come to your house weekly to drop off money and refusing to speak to her sounds like some weird manipulative revenge power trip that cannot be healthy for either of you. How long has this been going on? All two years. Listen, her getting sober will have been harder than you can imagine and you should respect her for that and for starting to pay you back. Is it an apology you want? If so, say so. Forgiveness is hard, but constantly punishing her this way drains both of you. She's already paid half back, if I understand correctly. She's skipping meals. She's been clean for years. She's doing her best. Maybe you can start a relationship. Don't want to sound savage, but she was probably skipping meals for the old habit. It's about what you prioritize. OP has yet to ask her sister to skip meals to pay her back earlier. She started doing it to pay back larger amounts than the previously agreed on $20 a week. That's her choice because she wants her debt cleared faster, likely because she's hoping for reconciliation after.